Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to be discussing how to tame a rock drake, how to grab their eggs, how to raise them, and how to level them properly as uh, depending on what you want to do all right now rock drakes they're not the easiest things to get and they're not a regular tame in arc now there's three different types of taming in arc there's aggressive taming or knockout taming which is where you knock it out and then it get you know it goes to sleep you shoot darts at it or arrows then it falls asleep you throw a bunch of stuff on it and make it your buddy by keeping it unconscious and feeding it narcotics not creepy at all all right and then the uh, second one is the passive taming, where you walk around and you stick kibble or berries or whatever it likes up its butt, and then after a while, it just really decides it loves you, and it becomes your buddy, all right? And then there's the third one, which is what we call, it's either hatch taming, egg um, taming, or just uh, you go down, you grab the egg, and then you throw it down. Yeah, it, it's basically just hatch taming. It's what you do with wyverns, what you do with rock drakes, and also what you do with uh, dinonychus and stuff like that. All right, so, um, and the rock drake, it, 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 it's a little bit different. Because if you're used to playing on maps like on uh, Scorched Earth or on Ragnarok, then you'll know that the wyvern trench, it's there. It's open. It's visible to everybody that comes near it. Yeah, it's dangerous, but it's there. It's easily accessible once you learn the ins and outs of it. Now, on Aberration, for the Rock Drake Trench, it is hidden way away, deep in the dark depths of the radiation and the liquid element where everything wants to eat you. So it's not just the, um, it's not just going to the trench and be like, yeah, cool, let's go get this. No, it's the journey to get down there. You have to prep yourself. There is a shopping list that you need to have. All right, so now, um, when I said radiation, I meant radiation. There is a ton of radiation down there, and you will get radiation poisoning, and it will kill you. Now, there are certain dinosaurs that are impervious to the radiation. Now, right here, uh, Megalosaurus, Mr. Bob right here, he is actually one of the uh, dinos that's impervious to radiation. Crabs are. Um, oh, uh, Spinosaurus are. For the most part, most things on Aberration are immune, except Ravagers and some of the more squishy guys. I'm not sure if Trikes are. I think there's a debate on whether I don't. I'm not willing. I'm not even willing to try a trike. I'm not sure why anybody would want to try a trike, but I, I think they are immune but um certain other squishy dinos basically if it doesn't have big sharp pointy teeth and you can poke it and it, it's squishy generally on it, it it's it, it's gonna take damage from radiation for the most part even though this right here we can poke this one and it's squishy but this one's more scaly than squishy so yeah if, if, if it's a mammal then chances are it's not immune to radiation but um like ravagers they get their butt kicked by the right radiation just as bad as a person uh but yeah um so take your favorite dino um megalosaurus spino uh crab reaper king even if you got it but then again if you already have a reaper king by this time chances are you already got quite a few rock drakes all right um but they are all prime choices for going down and getting a rock drake but we are going to be using this Mr. Bob right here to go down, grab one, and then come back. Now, I'm going to be sh using some footage that I've recorded from my solo series, so there's not going to be a lot of background noise. It's just going to be me, me voicing over it, but it's good footage. I went down. I showed the proper way of getting them, the step-by-step -step way of doing it, and we're just going to be reusing that. So if you've already seen this footage, I apologize, but it's also from my solo in the arc series. So if you haven't been able to check that out, go check it out. It's on my channel everywhere on my channel it's my favorite series to do all right so hey let's uh get down to the shopping list all right so now if uh you're doing the shopping list what you need to do is you need to have radiation suits now this stuff it's not easy to make for the early on person early on player but then again rock drakes aren't intended for the early game they're intended for the mid to late game so by the time that you get um hazard suit pants and hazard suit clothing 
you are already into the mid to late game because that's the only time that you really actually need this stuff is when you're going down into the radiation zone or it also helps you avoid the mushroom uh, clouds from around the area if you're wearing it but and also it also helps thwart basilis a little bit it doesn't avoid the pointy teeth aspect of them right um but uh, you need to have at least two sets of this armor because while you're t going down into the radiation zone It will constantly be ticking one 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 That means it's doing one point of damage to your armor every single time it does that Yes, which is <laughs> Yeah, it is bad and it kind of wears on you while you're down there sitting there knowing that your armor is slowly degrading while you're wearing it and then once that armor degrades your toast <laughs> so yeah keep an eye on this stuff if you have the weight to carry down three suits i would highly recommend three suits but if you only got two suits and you know you're not going to be down there that long two suits is more than acceptable all right so now that you've got that what you're going to need is you're going to need probably some sort of a shotgun something like that maybe a long neck without the trank darts you don't need trank darts down there you're not going to be down there to tame all right you might need some zip lines um if you're going to uh, go down there with some Ravagers or something like that, because there's one spot where you can take Ravagers, and I highly suggest you take Ravagers to clear it out as you're going through, but once you go through, pick them up into a Cryo Orb, or just leave them there so you can pick them up on the way back. All right? Um, you're gonna need a couple Cryo Orbs, because Cryo Orbs are definitely a thing, and I would highly suggest if you're going down there, you grab um, a secondary Light Pet, so where you can have one of them in a cryo and the other one not. So where when the one on your shoulder gets down really low, throw this one out. He'll be at 0% because all the little shoulder light pets, when the, you throw them out of a cryo, it resets their charge down to 0. So just let him charge up while the one on your shoulder has a little bit more charge left. And then once uh, this guy charges up, throw out your, the one on your shoulder, pick him up back into the cryo orb, throw this guy on your shoulder, you're good to go. All right. And then after that, you're going to need a couple... Uh, where did I put mine? Oh, you're going to need a couple cry um, climbing picks. I would recommend three climbing picks, maybe even five of them. Because you're going to be using a lot of climbing. Now, also, there is an addendum, there is a caveat with this that I want to make sure that you know. That when climbing around down in the rock drag trench, I'm not sure what's going on down there. There is a wicked problem with the mesh. It, it looks really pretty. But sometimes climbing around down there and fighting down in the rock drag trench, you can get pushed into the mesh or you can just go to a bad spot where it's just like, no, you don't want to climb here. And when you, if you try to go, it'll insta-kill you. So just be careful, all right? And if you don't see the green on the climbing pick, and here, I'll, I'll demonstrate right here. When you're climbing, it'll show you this green. Yeah, right here. Go down like this. It'll show you that green. Now, if, um, if it's green, it means you can climb on it. If it's blue, it means it's going to uh, drop you out onto a spot where you can stand. If it's red, it means, no, you can't go there. If you see it, where, if you see it says red, don't click it down there because there are chances. It's not guaranteed, but there's a slim chance it could just kill you in your shoulder pet because it's going to put you into the mesh. And that's a bad thing. You don't want that. Being dead is not a good thing. You don't want that. All right, so... Uh, let's uh, um, grab our stuff and then let's cut to the other footage, right? And I will see you down there. We're gonna do this. All right, so now going down into the blue section down here, uh, you're going towards the tide pools and you're aiming towards this little spine that comes down. You want to follow that spine down. That's the whole idea. Now, once you get to the spot, what you want to do is take a cryopod and you want to slurp your uh, dino that you're riding back up into your cryopod. And then once you're done with that, it's just a leap of faith with your light pet fully active on your shoulder. And you're going down here and you're aiming for this little section right off from that little spine that comes down. Because this is one of the only spots in the red zone where there is no radiation. So you can fly down here with tech armor and then here... Yeah, I actually ended up getting into the radiation right there. But it's okay, because we're back out of it. All right, so now when you're going down inside here, you want to equip your radiation suit now. Because when you start taking that radiation damage, you want to have that active. 
for when you're going into here. So now along this path, this path that you're going to be taking all the way down to the Rock Drake Trench, there's uh, some things right up here in the very beginning. There's Rock Drakes, there's um, Arthoplura, there's Perlovia, there's stuff like that. So if you have a Ravager pack that you want to bring down with you, now's the time to throw them out. And when you get to the other side of this little bridge section up ahead and you're done clearing everything, you can just leave them there or you can put them back into cryopods. All right, so now that we're in the radiation, we're just going to be starting to take a little bit of damage, you know, over time. So, yeah, from here on out, we're very, very dependent on our hazard armor. All right, you'll know you're at the Rock Drake Trench the moment you start seeing things like this. The little yellow globules and stuff like that. And then also, you'll go from absolutely no encounters to a whole bunch of Rock Drakes everywhere. Now, what you want to do is you want to kind of skirt along the side of this to the left a little bit right up here and then you want to clear out all of these rock drakes because the moment you grab your first egg all these rock drakes are going to come and try to eat you so you want to minimize that rush as much as possible you want to mitigate that damage so th you have to get rid of these guys up top first or else they're all going to come down and eat you all right now that i've got those guys all cleared out now i'm just going to drop down Yep. All right, and then now it's just keep an eye out for uh, rock drake nests and clear out any rock drakes that we see. Once you've spotted some rock drake nests up there, you'll notice them by the little pink, little just tops of them hanging over the edge. You go up, you make sure that you're clear, grab your climbing picks, find a nice spot. Uh, and also, now is a good time if there's any trees down below that you want to get rid of those. All right, <laughs> because you're you're gonna be gliding down onto your uh, um, dino here soon, so you want to make sure those trees don't get in the way. All right, so like I was saying earlier, you want to make sure that the light is always green when you're going up here. If it's red, don't click it. All right, and then right there we've got a blue one, so we can hop up here. We got a rock drake. That's a great one. Grab it, and then as soon as you grab this. All crap's gonna hit the fan, get down to your dino, get on your dino, and then prepare for the rush. Because everything else that you missed is gonna come try to eat you. So you have to uh, um, weather this storm. So just make sure that you stay away from the edges while you're doing this. Because like I said, even though the Rock Drake Trench is amazing and it, oh, it is so amazing. All these guys are going to try to eat you and push you into the side. Don't get pushed into the side. Uh, it almost happened right there. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, they can actually just forcibly push you in there, and then you just die. There's no way to get out of it when you're in there. Just be careful. Don't let that happen, and you'll be good. Get all these guys dead. And this right here, my Megalosaurus, he handled this like a champ. He took a lot of damage, but afterwards... Um, I just uh, force-fed a whole ton of meat to him, um, got him uh, healed up for the most part. Now, also, since rock drakes don't give you a bunch of meat so you can um, regenerate your health, if you need extra meat, then uh, just turn off your light. And Nameless will spawn, gank the Nameless, grab their meat, because they'll give you a lot. And then just use that to force-feed your uh, um, dino to get them back up to health. It's, it's really good um, way of getting a bunch of raw meat to heal up your dino. All right, once you're done with that, grab your climbing picks, and now it's time to climb out of the trench over on the other side. At the side that you came in on, um, there should be an easier way of getting up. It's not going to be absolutely simple, but just a little bit of um, perseverance, and you'll get to the top. All right, once you're fully at the top, all you do is come over, back over here. There's this little bridge that you come across, throw out your uh, megalosaur, and now it's just time to get your butt back to base. Yeah. And that's it. And then now we uh, um, cover Hatch and the Drake. Getting it is the hardest part. Once you actually have it, that the easiest part is from then on out. All right, congratulations. You now have a Rock Drake egg. Now we're going to go back exactly where we jumped off the cliff to begin with. It's a long path to get back up there. But once we are um, back here, grab the rest of your climbing picks and now it's time to climb. Now there's a couple spots that you can take breaks up here so where you can uh, replenish your 
climbing picks if they're broken. That way there you don't fall or have to um, try to do a, a weird jump slash re-equip the new one slash latch back onto the wall and lose some of your uh, momentum. But yeah, just keep going and then you'll eventually make it to the top. There's no dinos here. Um, every once in a while, there'll be like an Anki or something up top. Um, usually it's not a bad thing. Sometimes it'll be an Orthoplura, but that's why you brought your shotgun, right? So hey, um, see you guys up at the top. Just get your way all the way up top and now back to your base, wherever you're going to be hatching your uh, rock drake. All right, so now back at your base. Now you just want to set down a whole bunch of air conditioners. Um, I would say, I would recommend probably between, depending on the temperature of your base, around between 14 and maybe 20. Um, I was only, I only had to put down 16 of them in my base um, to get to the required um, oh, uh, temperature that I needed to because basically you're trying to go for around 22 to 24 hypothermic. And I know the wiki says otherwise, but that's why I don't trust wikis. So um, this way here, I was able to get mine to um, hatch at around 2400. All right, now you're going to need Nameless Venom. Now, the easiest way to get Nameless Venom down here, especially if you're in the blue zone like me, is just go run around without your light pet turned on. Nameless will spawn, and you're going to... Uh, um, they're you're just going to be able to kill them. Grab as many Nameless Venom as you can, and the amount of Nameless Venom you, that you have is how long you're going to spend here. If you spend three minutes, then you're probably going to have enough. But just know that most of the times when you're imprinting your Rock Drake, they're not going to ask for Nameless Venom. It's just to uh, give them a little bit of food. It gives them 400 food um, every time that you feed them one. So if they need, if you're worried about them getting a little bit starved, while you're raising them, just feed them a nameless venom and give them 400 food. Bada bing, bada boom, you're good. All right, and now congratulations. You're about to welcome a new rock drake into the world. We got it right. There we go. All right, so now you can uh, um, claim that thing. And while it's raising, it'll take a long time. And for the most part, it'll just need cuddles. Um, if it needs anything other than a cuddle, pick it up into a cryopod, throw it back out. Chances are it's gonna want a cuddle, and that's all you're gonna, all it's gonna want. Then just go, um, continue about your life. Now you need to uh, start worrying about the saddle. All right, now the saddle, it's a little bit harder to make. All right, so here it is. Because a rock drake saddle requires red gems. It's not that hard to make. Just fiber, hide, metal ingots, and red gems. You did remember get red gems from down below while you were down there in the red uh, um, area? Yeah, I didn't either. If you forgot that, there's a quick and easy solution. Go find yourself a roll rat. Build one of these um, little taming pens. Just one that you use regularly is fine. Stick it inside there. Let him run around. Whenever he lowers down into the ground and comes back up, he will throw out some gems. Um, probably about one out of every three times it'll be red gems. Just sit there long enough, and then he'll give you a whole bunch. And uh, it's the easiest way. So if you forgot some down below, this is the easy way to do it. Yeah! I love this. Rock Drake's got to be one of my favorite mounts. All right, that's wicked cool. All right, let's see. Hey, suck it! Oh, you hit for 268 right out of the. That's pretty good. All right. Okay, let's uh, go over a few things, a few uh, YouTubery things where we discuss what these guys do. Let's see. Uh, so left click attack, which is left click. Right click attack enables this up at here. Hold on. Wrong button. Up here in the very top right hand corner, you see where it has that little white uh, rock drake claw? That right there means that you are climbing. Your um, rock drake will tilt their head up, and then you can always know, even if you don't see it up there, that it's uh, they're climbing is because they will tilt their head. And that means that they're going to be uh, latching onto walls like a uh, like a thyla. Actually, a little bit better than a thyla. Actually, a lot better than a thyla. Because they can change directions and do all sorts of cool stuff up there. Just run around. And, uh... Yeah, here, I will showcase that, showcase that here in just a sec. Let's, see, let's get up on top of... Right here. There we go. Alright, and then also, when you're up like this, you'll notice that there's the crosshairs. Hold on. Wrong button. All right, if you jump, and then you see the crosshairs, if you right-click, you'll ch uh, charge towards the wall and latch on. Now, if you're like this, and you left-click, 
it'll come down and it'll pounce on whatever you're targeting and it'll actually do some damage. It's pretty cool. All right, and then let's see. And then how they uh, fly, they don't really fly. They more glide than anything. They, uh, you have to have some sort of downward force propelling them forward. Now there's ways of getting some momentum where you can kind of go down and then back up a little bit. Hang on, hold on. Let's see if we can get up a little bit higher. All right, it's where we can actually get some speed going. All right, here we go. All right, so now if you glide down, you can go back up, and you can charge towards that, and then you can actually... If, once you figure these things out, you can get all over the map quite effectively. It is really, really cool. I love these dudes. I love these dudes a lot. All right, so now for leveling up your rock, Drake, if you want, if you have aspirations to eventually take it into a boss fight, you're going to want some health. You're going to want probably about 10 to 12k health, maybe even 15, depends on how good of a Drake that you've got. But also, you don't want to scrimp on stamina, and you definitely don't want to scrimp on melee damage. So, I would recommend that out of every five levels, two go into health, um, one goes into stamina, and then two goes into uh, melee damage all the way uh, after you have at least 10 to 12k uh, hit points. I would say recommend getting to 10k hit points and then um, start doing the every five levels, two in health, one in stamina, two in melee damage. All right, so hey, congratulations on your rock, Drake. I hope this video helped you out. If you liked the video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everybody. I love rock drakes. They're one of my favorite mounts.